All right, today we're checking out this Creality Ender 3 V3. This is their all new Ender 3 printer. This is where you can print that's a Core XC, not a Core XY. So uh, the Z axis is belt driven, but I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I'll show you everything that's in the package and the time lapse, I'll put it together, and then I'll give you, give you my opinion after it's together, and then I'll do a few tests with it, and I'll tell you overall uh, what I think of it. Together, uh, fairly simple. You got two bolts on the bottom and on the side on each one of these sides. You just want to pay attention to make sure you get it all nice and straight uh, and tightened up evenly. That way, you don't have any issues. The top of this, this is a cast aluminum. So, up here on the very top, this is normally uh, two pieces and then a piece that goes across. On this one, it's all one piece. So, you just have the bottom, the base and this to put on and a few wires to plug in and you're good to go <clears throat> uh, the head on this is similar to the k1 but this one it's a little bit different it also says creality right there lights up kind of cool something something a little different uh, there's no uh, screw leads on this it's all belt driven by the beefy motors on it and also it has the nice textured build plate, which is really nice. And the build plate on this is really solid. It's got rails instead of sliders or wheels even here on the bottom and also up here and as well on the Z axis. The screen on it is a typical touch screen for all the Creality zones, kind of standard. That just pops on there really easily. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi. There is a USB plug over here on the side. Uh, so if you do need to plug it in, update firmware or something like that, you're able to do that. Uh, a quick note to say, before you put the gantry on, remember to uh, switch your power to 120 or 210, whatever it's going to be, before you put it on. I didn't do that, and I put it on and I take a bag apart and redo it. So you want to remember to do that. But overall, right out of the box, it prints great. I didn't do any tweaking. I just used Creality Slicer. And I went in and I printed a few things. This one is done in black, this little bracket. And you can see it did quite well. The slicer is gonna need a few tweaks, but right out of the box, how it's gonna be for you, probably exactly the same as it is for me. It does uh, quite well. I'm really impressed with it. And it does almost as good, if not just as good as the like K1C. And these were all printed right here on this uh, 3D printer. To show the red one, there's the red one. Another little gray piece there. But overall, it's a really good product. If you're looking for a 3D printer and just the ease of use, this one I'd definitely recommend. And also, over time, I think this one's going to just hold up really well. And Probably won't have any issues with it because it's just a solid cast aluminum build. <clears throat> also, I want to show you on the back. The back of this is open, and you can see you got your belts going up and down right here. You got your rails, some springs down there to kind of stop it in case it drops from uh, slamming right into your build plate, the nozzle there. We got a fan back here too for cooling. Uh, I don't have the piece with me, but it, I printed one of these with no support, and it did the. This is a 20 millimeter bridge. It did it really well and there's like zero sag at all. I was pretty impressed by it. But you can see you got your two motors down here on the bottom. This thing moves easily. It's not the quietest printer, I will say, but uh, none of them are really super quiet. They're a high-speed printer. They're gonna make you a little uh, 
They're a high-speed printer. They're going to be kind of noisy sometimes. The home position is up here in the top instead of down in the bottom, which is kind of different. The only thing I don't like is the spool holder. I wish it would have came up with something different with that. But overall, really good product. And it's also easy to port around. It's easy to uh, move it around. The footprint of it is quite small. And so that's really nice and just the ease of taking it anywhere you want to go. Uh, it's easier than any of my other ones to do it with. But overall, really good product, and I would recommend it.